Born in VR, reborn for everyone. Eve Valkyrie Warzone is the first person spaceship shooter that's soon to be available on PC and PS4 without the need for a VR headset. With a fully refreshed roster of ships, whether you're a new pilot or have passed through the clone vats more times than you can count, you'll want to stick with us for our guide to the fully updated support class. Fast and nimble, support ships are all about buffing their squad mates and using clever tech to turn the tables on the enemy. For the team player who likes to feel the warm glow of a little altruism mixed in with their crazed death dealing, this is the class of choice. The Banshee is a stone-cold killer. Her secondary beam locks onto enemies and depletes their shields with impressive speed, or terrifying speed depending on your perspective, at which point she can open up with a phaser that cuts through hulls like a hot knife through butter. Aside from being an extremely satisfying way to gain a kill, the Banshee's weapons are also nice and subtle for those on the receiving end, many of whom won't even notice until it's far too late. She also carries several rounds of spider bots that repair even the most arachnophobic of friendly ships. If an enemy is clumsy enough to stumble into their laser web, the spider bots will attack instead, and it'll take a lot more than a rolled up newspaper to get rid of them. The Banshee's Ultra, Fate's Call, can instantly change the balance of a large scale dogfight by replenishing the shields of all friendlies within range, along with the Banshee itself, to give you and your team a second win to finish off the rest of the enemy fleet. At the other end of the spectrum, with a powerful repair beam that locks onto friendlies and replenishes both shield and armor, the Nagi is Warzone's quintessential healer. Your primary twin-linked carbine is not the most powerful weapon in the game, but that won't stop you being the most influential ship in the battle. Your team will regard you as a damned hero, and you'll be hard-pressed to disagree with them. With a decent shield and armor, superb maneuverability and a self-repair device for keeping her hull in top condition, she's also very, very good at staying alive long enough to deploy her Ultra at just the right moment. True to the Nagi's generous form, Radiant Burst repairs all friendly armor within a radius, including her own, denying the enemy and enabling your team to swoop back in for the kill. A beautifully balanced ship, the Medusa's pulse cannon and extreme maneuverability makes her very capable in a dogfight. But to fit that impressively aggressive tech into the craft, her armor and shield were sacrificed to make room. Talented pilots will find their own ways to realize the potential of this ship and will become a dominating presence in fast-paced battles. The Medusa's secondary allows buffing of allies with a mini overshield, the status of which you can monitor via the HUD, and she has a very handy electromagnetic shield, EMS for short, that kills incoming missiles and charges the pulse cannon with the ability to stun ships with multiple direct hits. In addition, her Death's Grasp Ultra annihilates enemy shields within a generous radius, making them incredibly vulnerable to a well-timed burst from the already lethal pulse cannon. Finally, the Kirin provides a perfect antidote to those inconsiderate pilots who, upon noticing you on their six, perform evasive maneuvers instead of simply accepting that it's their destiny to die by your hand. Her primary shard rifle fires a spread of projectiles that stick to enemies and then detonate over time. Land a few of them in quick succession and your prey's fate will be sealed before they even understand how much trouble they're in. Being the ultimate wingman, the Kirin's capacitor restore beam connects with a friendly ship and allows it to sustain weapons fire in situations where they'd otherwise be waiting on a cooldown. And if you're feeling particularly cunning, you can use your HUD scrambler to ruin enemies' situational awareness before attacking, and they'll be putty in your hands. And in keeping with the theme of inevitable doom, the Dragon's Thorn Ultra launches a sticky bomb that detonates after several seconds. It's tough to land on target, but when you do, it's a guaranteed trip to the clone vats via the cold embrace of hard vacuum. So those are the four ships of the support class. Each of them will be a welcome addition to any team, and each will appeal to a very specific kind of pilot. Keep an eye on the channel for updates to the other classes, but to find out more about Eve Valkyrie Warzone right this minute, just head over to evevalkyrie.com.